Okay, in this recording I'd like to show you how you can share content that you've created and pulled together into a, a page. So I'm going to come into the portfolio area. I can go and look at the sharing settings either through my pages or my collections or I can go directly into share. So that's what I'm going to do. And what share does is give me a list of all the pages and collections I have, a list of who to whom I've given access um, already and uh, some keys here for me to give access, additional access um, and add other people to the pages. You can also see that it's possible to generate a secret URL um, should you wish to share that just with certain people. So let me change the uh, settings on one of my pages. So I've got a page called a demo page here and I'm going to edit the access to that demo page. And if I scroll down the screen here, you can see by default only you can see your collections and pages. Okay. However, I want to make this page visible. So I'm going to choose to whom I wish to make it visible. So just checking here, it is the demo page I'm giving um, rights to. I can share it with the entire world or with only people who are in Mahara, only people who are my friends within Mahara. I can share with my groups if I wish to or I can share with other users and groups and use the search box here to find them. So this could be with friends, with groups or with other users and do a search in order to find them. Now the way in which I share I can then um, use the advanced options. So let's have a look at the advanced options. So having chosen who I wish to see this page by clicking the add button to add them to my list, I would then decide the, the nature and the time frame uh, for their access. By default here, you can see that my users would be allowed to, allowed to add comments to give me some feedback on my page and su suggestions. If I don't want the comments option, I would just remove that tick. Uh, by default, nobody can copy your page, but you could select that, insert the, the tick in order to make it possible uh, for copying to happen. Uh, but then you could also select whether you want to retain view access on pages that are copied. So that's an interesting functionality. You've also got down here um, access dates and time. So you might want to limit somebody's access to a, a certain period of time and you can do that using the functionality here. And then once I'm happy that the right people have got access, then I would just click save. And those people, when they log in next, will be able to see that they've got access to your page as being shared with them. So this was the portfolio tab under share that we looked at.